It's raining, and today's the day. Today's the day that I'm going to pick up my mini Clubman JCW. It's a car that I ordered back in November. It landed in the uh, in the U.S. on the 22nd, which is my birthday of February. Um, made it to Chicago earlier this week. I have been out of town, so finally getting a chance to pick it up. Uh, and of course, it's a it's, it's a terribly rainy day, pouring pretty much all day. But it is also um, Friday. And you know what? I can't complain. I mean, this is this is an extremely exciting day for me. It has been, oh my God, so long since I have had my own personal mini. Been very, very lucky in Motor and Fowl's partnership with Mini USA to have, uh, a, you know, just a, a litany of press cars that have kept uh, myself and other in, in Motor and File uh, really well, you know, sort of very knowledgeable about the brand. But I miss personally having a car that I can care about, that I can mod, that I can, uh, you know, just wash and wax and you know it's just a very different experience so today's the day um haven't seen it yet outside of a couple fleeting moments in the dark so i'm told it's inside it's of course perfectly clean which it won't be the second i take it outside which is fine um and it's ruddy for me so just need to get there sign some paperwork uh tell them i do not want the wheel insurance although maybe i do what do you all think i don't know let me know in the comments and uh and drive away uh, so super excited. Next stop, Mini of Glencoe. We'll see you there. Okay, so the paperwork is done. We uh, are set. I've got keys. Haven't seen the car. Wanted to wait and make it sort of a grand reveal. So let's go check it out. And there it is. God, those rear taillights. I know people hated them at first. I love them. Wow. Rebel Green is and forever will be my favorite color. Sorry, it just is. Oh God, I love it. Look at this interior. This is that matte silver with, oh, I love the sort of herringbone metallic trim. But with rubber mats, I don't know if anybody else feels about rubber mats. I kind of kind of dig them, especially in a terrible rainy day like this. And then there we are. Now, definitely gonna drop this thing, no question about it. It's a little high, but even still, God, it looks fantastic. Look at those massive brakes, the black trim, blacked out everywhere, except for of course the belt line, which <clears throat> we'll take care of. But the thing that I love so much about this car, as I look at it right now, is this sort of, these three dominant colors. You've got this rebel green, which is amazing. And you've got this white, which is so classic. I mean, it's gonna be, from what I understand, a little bit more difficult to get white roofs on JCWs in the future. To me, this is, this is mini, you know? This is what is so great about this, this car. And then you've got this beautiful malt brown interior, which you can see from the outside and just kind of reeks like classic British sort of style, if you will. Um, but there's some twists, right? So we've got, of course, it's a JCW, there's some red accents. We've got this multi-tone roof, so it goes into melting silver and then the black, melting silver two, if I recall correctly, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, the whole thing looks amazing in person i'm truly truly blown away i absolutely love it i think going with a uh, a gloss black out here would make a lot of sense especially given that all the trim is gloss black very excited about that um, probably do that on in a couple days here i think uh, like i said we're going to drop the car for a little just a little bit we've got high back springs lowered um, just a little bit it's the intention is to, to not make this a track car. That's not the point. It's going to be a car that's just buttoned up, you know, sort of OEM plus is the way I always describe it, describe it for 15 years like that. We're going to do a, uh, a, an M engineering, uh, sway bar as well in the back and then some spacers just to bring the tires and wheels out just a touch, just a little bit to kind of give it that perfect golden ratio. So needless to say, I'm thrilled. This is exactly, exactly what I've been waiting for. 
And the only thing left to do is drive it. Finally behind the wheel of my new Mini Club and JCW, one of the last delivered. Uh, it's it's just such a such an interesting experience driving this car. Really, almost back to back in a sense. I mean, a few weeks removed from the new JCW Countryman, and uh, you know some of the things you notice right away. Of course, this is this is lighter. Uh, it's a much quicker turning. There's no question about it. Um, quicker to change direction. Transmission is not as refined. No question about that. Ride's not refined. I mean, they did a great job with the with the new Countryman. There's no there's no question about that. Um, as I have to move my <laughs> my paperwork still from picking this car up. Um, it's it's been you know it's it's been really interesting just you know letting some of those changes from the new Countryman sink in as I drive this car. But you know it's not to say that one is dramatically better than the other. <clears throat> Um, you know, certainly not going to suggest that this car is perfect by any means. That's that's uh, that's not true. Uh, full stop. But it's damn good, and uh, for what I need, what I want, it might be perfect. And I think that's really what this whole thing is about. You know, in terms of what you want out of your car, what you want out of your Mini, uh, it is your choice. And, and I think getting opinions and suggestions is great. But ultimately, finding what you like, want, love. Uh, get excited about like that's what this is about. That's why we love these cars so much. And and for me, the cl the, the Clubman was just such that that perfect combination of size and, and utility. And you know now having it you know behind the wheel uh, in the seat, it's exactly what I wanted. And and I'm so I'm so thrilled with it. Um, gonna be a lot to come. You know we've got a lot of plans uh, for motor and file in terms of coverage. I have a lot of plans for modifications. I'm going to be putting, I'm actually going to be dropping this thing tomorrow, uh, about an inch with Eibach Springs. Uh, no change in quality, in ride quality, it's just springs. Uh, my goal is to keep it really, really straightforward. Um, this isn't a track car, this is intended to, you know, be sort of an OEM plus type of experience. So drop it a little bit, add a sway bar, that's back ordered, it's coming. Um, spacers, so I'm going to get that perfect uh, sort of ride height and wheel uh, ratio. Of course, it's got the 19s on it, so it's it's kind of look fantastic. Um, black out the belt line. I'm gonna try to do that myself. Um, stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm gonna do some interesting things in the inside. I'm gonna add um, some actually some some bespoke metal shift paddles. So it's a direct replacement of the actual plastic shift paddles in this car. I'm trying to do something fun. This is not a manual, which is a bummer. They don't make them, of course. Um, so how do you? Add give that experience of shifting manually, which I just love to do, give it a little bit of tactile quality that of course is not there because of the of the uh, the lack of the manual, but you know, what can we bring back? Um, and some other stuff, plenty of other things that, that I'll be doing as well. So definitely stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming on this car, a lot more coming on, you know, just minis in general, but this car will definitely be featured quite a bit. Um, and I cannot wait. So again, if you like this video, give us a like. Please subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming very soon.